Mazak this year at, at IMTS is uh, introducing the, the new Smooth X Control. It is part of uh, Mazak Smooth technology. This is the world debut of the Smooth X Control. Um, this control is radically different from our pre predecessors in the fact that it is now a touch screen. So everything that we have on here is very interactive, uh, similar to what you would have in a, any smart device that you have at home that you use. Thing. No, so this is this is um, our conversational program. As you can see, I can touch the screen and I can scroll it just like I would on any smart device. Um, we have an index here where I can go down through the program and it'll jump to where I am in the program or where I want to be in the, a particular uh, programming unit. But as I do that, you see that the graphic is also associative. So as I'm as I'm changing my position in the cutting program here, and and uh, in, in what I want to machine, it's jumping to that area on the graphic and it's showing me where I am, uh, in, in, you know, in that program. I can use my uh, multi-touch, just like you would on any smart device. I can rotate the graphic. I can zoom in, and it allows me to, uh, to see how I'm machining this part. I can turn off my graphics if I want and use my traditional conversational programming. Anytime I touch on a position on the uh, screen where I need to input some data, I automatically get the uh, input keypad in. I can lock it in place if I want and I can continue inputting my data. Something new to this, this control is we have an undo feature. So now if I make a mistake and I type in a value of 2 and it was a mistake, I can actually hit my undo and it returns it back to 0. So I have 10 levels forward and back of undo and redo. The process home screens are really interesting is because now um, we've categorized the five areas uh, that we think are the most pertinent um, pieces of information that, that, that operators and programmers need to, to, to access. And we, it, there's so many different displays in the CNC, it almost works as a navigation pane, where now if I, if I hit program, I have all, all the areas here uh, that deal, the different displays that deal with programming. If I hit tool data, I have all the, all the pages that deal with tool data. And you can focus on those areas and you can see graphically what you want to do. For example, setting up the machine. I can do a three-dimensional configuration and I can import solid models such as my fixture and my workpiece material as a parasolid or a step file. And I can pull those in and set up my, my graphics and make sure that everything is uh, in, in position and, and uh, looking correct. We have a feature over here on the right that allows the smooth control to monitor other machines that are nearby. So I can go in here and I can configure the, uh, the name and the address of that machine. And now if I'm uh, an operator and I'm responsible for multiple machines, I can see those other machines down the line. Even though I'm not standing next to them, if one of them produces an error, uh, that error will come up right there on the screen and I'll, and I'll see what's taking place. Um, machining. While I'm running the machine, you can see we have right now the controls in a demo mode where it's showing you graphically what it would look like when data is uh, you know, getting fed back into the, into the controller. So you can see where you are in any one of your axes. You can see the position where you are on, on, in, the, in, the, uh, in the machine. You'll see all of your loads and your RPMs on the, uh, on the spindles. Um, and it, it's, it's kind of a quick dashboard. So these, these process home screens not only act as a navigation system, but they're also showing you all the pertinent data that you need at that particular time. The SmoothX control is able to calculate uh, data and process points for a toolpath four times faster than um, our predecessors. But this, there's really three aspects to Smooth technology. Typically, you have uh, your hardware and you have your software improvements, which the control does have. But there's a third aspect that a lot of, a lot of customers don't realize that we're, we're, we have in here, and that is um, the, the technology and the knowledge that we have in Mazak uh, that we've acquired over the years of manufacturing. Um, so, you know, when customers come to Mazak, they don't bring us their simple parts, they bring us their, their, their complex parts. And over the years, we, we, we really come to realize where our weaknesses are. And um, Mazak uh, Japan have asked us, what type of things do you need in the new control? And we've been collecting this information, and, and they've basically taken all of our knowledge and put it into this new control, and giving us the capabilities to now uh, tackle customers' most difficult parts. Uh, the places where you'll see the biggest improvement with this new SmoothX control is in the area of uh, 3D mold making where you have fine increment programs or 5-axis aerospace parts. Um, in those areas where you typically have uh, the control being your bottleneck and you're not able to, to keep up with the processing but yet your cutter could go faster, the control will now process data so much faster that it will no longer be the limitation. Um, 
things that we can do in Mazer Troll conversational programming now, uh, it, where we're talking about the software improvements, is now we, as we're writing a, a Mazer Troll program, the software will show you a three-dimensional graphic of, of, what you're, of what you're programming. And now if you want to go in and, and select geometry from a solid model, we can actually take a USB jump drive, import a, a step file or a parasolid, and when we're inputting our geometry, we can go and select the data points, such as a, a bolt circle, and it'll automatically give us those data points into the CNC. Um, when it comes to the five axis improvements, one of the, uh, the key features that, that I like is um, our smooth co uh, corner control. And what this allows you to do is set a tolerance over a series of fine increment linear uh, moves and it will now round those corners and allow the control to, to go smoother through those corners and uh, actually reduce your cycle time significantly but yet maintain the tolerance that you need. Um, the hardware improvements with the new uh, high gain servos that we have, we can now position two to three times faster um, if your cutter can go faster, and, but maintain the same accuracy in the contour as you had in your, in, uh, previously. So the new SmoothX control is going to be shipped on machines starting in uh, February, March, and April of 2015. Um, it'll be on all our multitasking models, and um, customers are pretty excited about it. And when they hear about all of the improvements that we have, we as engineers are really excited about the improvements and already we're seeing the difference in the, uh, in the quality of the, of the components and the parts coming off the machine tools.